welcome to my welcome to my Discovery Ed Studio Board's How To video. My name is Lindsay Duncan. I'm a Social Studies Curriculum Specialist here in the district. I'm very excited to show you these Discovery Ed Boards. Um, we've used them in our classrooms, and they have been proven to be a pretty awesome tool. Uh, so I'm really excited to show them to you and show you some examples, and also show you some of the things that you can do with them. So I hope that this finds you well and it gets those creative juices flowing. So let's go ahead and get started um, with the why. So why use the Discovery Ed Studio boards in the classroom? One of the things that we definitely want to do in our classrooms is give students that voice and choice, um, just giving them the option to take ownership over their learning and to really take it and run with it. Uh, that's definitely a way to see that growth over time. And then we also just want to provide a different approach to the how when we teach the content. So we know what to teach, but how do we teach that information? Um, studio boards just provide that new way of doing things and just to spice things up too, because we all get kind of stagnant and uh, we don't want it to get boring. So using these studio boards is a really, really great tool to do that. And then when doing these studio boards, we definitely want to design with the end in mind. So what is it that I want my students to walk away knowing or um, what, I, what, what is it that I want them to be equipped with as I continue on with this lesson or this unit. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to walk you through just to get um, to stu Discovery Ed, the studio boards. And I'm, you want to go in through ClassLink and everything will be signed in. Um, I just click on that Discovery Ed studio uh, tab here. Once you click on the studio, um, you'll see these are my studio boards that I've worked on in the past. Um, I'm going to show you one that I have created and then show you how to create uh, some of those question styles or just some of the stimuli that I included in this board. We did use this board in our classrooms. The kids really loved it. We used it as a hook or as a starter to introduce the Civil War unit. On here, you're going to see lots of different stimuli. We've got a brain pop activity with questions. We've got poems, songs, um, a video over um, a map. We've also got a video over uh, Civil War tactics and then some other primary sources on the last uh, page here. Now, one thing I do tell kids is that they do not have to do this in any order. They can do it in any order that they want. They can go from two to five, four, three, and then so on. Really, the only placeholders are slide one and slide six at the very end. Um, it's just a slide telling them, hey, make sure you go back and check your work. And then slide one, of course, is just the introduction slide here. I'm going to show you how to create these uh, things here. This is just a simple text box um, using these tools here on the left. Um, but first, I wanted to show you just some examples of what you can do with these studio boards once you're equipped with the tools. Um, one thing to note is that um, I am going to go rather quickly through some of these things just to make it specific to social studies. Um, so if you do want to learn more about these studio boards or if you want to learn more of the basics with the studio boards, please attend our Discovery Ed trainings um, going back to school um, at the beginning of the year for PD. We have studio board, you know, 2.1 and so on. I mean, it's going to be basic levels all the way up to more advanced levels. So using the studio board in the classroom, though, in the social studies classroom, this is just an example of what we did. So we all utilize Brain Pop. If you don't really need to check it out, um, it is a subscription. So you'd have to you can use some of it for free, but other things you'd have to purchase, which you can do with your campus. Uh, something that we always used to do because it's a great tool. We used to share with other other uh, cross-curricular groups. So we'd science would buy it one year and we would buy it another year and so on. Um, but Brain Pop is a great tool. Um, we linked a Brain Pop video uh, to be able just to lay a foundation, ask a few questions here, and so on. I'll show you how to create these multiple choice questions. Um, here in just a minute with our example board. Here is the culture and maps slide. There's some instructions here. They have to click the blue buttons in order to get to these links. Um, and then here's a video with some pictures. And then down here, if there's extra time, if they finish, they get to play the brain pop game. And then the next one, this one includes a video. They just click the blue button and then they answer the questions 
here. Um, one thing to note is that based on the video here, we previewed everything. We were able to go through and double check the websites and the links and the videos to make sure they were applicable to what we wanted the kids to walk away with. Here we were able to ask some questions. Um, some of these are essential questions from our IFD, from the unit overviews Becky created. And um, some were just some higher level questions that we thought would dig into their interests um, and hopefully inspire some, some further interest in the Civil War era. This last one is my favorite. This one is, um, it, it takes us to a website that shows the contents of Civil War soldiers' trunks or like what they would have carried around. And then we ask some questions based on the, what the students would have read. Here you just got some pictures, some primary source photos, and then another uh, link where the students will go in, read some of the diary entries, read some of the things, and answer the questions here at the bottom. They're learning here about point of view, they're learning about perspective as, as far as what it would have been like uh, fighting in the war or, um, you know, whatever else that the, the website had available. Uh, just some really cool things to look at. Again, I want them to walk away with a level of peaked interest. I want them to be able to leave here saying, oh, this is going to be a really cool unit. I'm excited to get into it. And it stirs up any maybe any background knowledge they may have had from previous years learning about the Civil War. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create this board. Um, I'm going to show you the basics as far as putting pictures in um, from your, <clears throat> excuse me, from Discovery Ed uh, and so on. But again, if there's anything that you have questions over or anything that you want to learn more about, please, please, please go to our, to our uh, back to school training over studio boards, the Discovery Ed boards. It's going to be really, really good. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to create from scratch a studio board um, and design it with um, the end in mind, giving students that voice and choice. So what you want to do is go to create new and I'm going to create a new board. And then as soon as it loads, I always like to go ahead and label it so I'm, I can come back and, and just know what I was working on. So for this, we'll just say um, key people of civil war. Okay. And we'll go ahead and start with our um, flashback here to my title page. So this, again, I just like to give it a title just to kind of get them started with things, an introduction. So if you want to use your studio boards as a hook like you, like I did, um, doing this is definitely a good idea to give them just that direction um, and to get them started. So uh, we are key people. I'm going to go ahead and I want to create a title box here. So I'm going to create a text box. And I'm going to put key people of the Civil War. And then I want to include some pictures of these key people. Um, so in order to make this bigger, okay, I'm going to go ahead and you, want, you can change the pictures here. Do any of that. Okay, whatever you decide, it's up to you. Okay, and then um, once you click, once you click out of here, when you click the, the, letters you can go up here and you can make it bold italicized and so on so i'm going to make it much bigger give it a title size i'm going to center it and then i'm going to try to center it on my board here okay so one thing to note is that <clears throat> when you have multiple things on this board it's going to be very difficult to move this around but the best way to do that is to use the the four the four um, arrow cursor or the little waffle there at the top corner. That's gonna move everything. Um, and then let's add a picture. So I'm gonna search Discovery Ed. Um, I'll narrow it down to six, eight, and then I'm gonna put Abraham Lincoln. Search. And I've got, um, I can search images and you can see there's all sorts of things that come up here, but I definitely just want a picture right now. So I'm gonna search this and see if I can find a picture. Ooh, there's some other great pictures. Um, we'll use this one and I'll show you how to crop it. So I'm gonna do that. And then best way to do this, if you wanna crop the picture, okay, is to go through and you can 
resize it and I kind of want, there we go. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to make it a little bit bigger, but you can edit. Let's see. Let's see. You know what? I saw that other one and I like that. I'm going to delete this. Okay. I'm going to upload search DE. Narrow it down to 6, 8 images. You can see it's 1 of 4 now. This one was kind of cool, so I'm going to try this one. And then, like, you can't really see his face, so you just resize like this. Okay, and there you go, Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Now, again, you can get as creative as, you know, with this as you want. Now, if you, you know, searching Discovery Ed doesn't provide the kind of picture you want. There is another way of doing this. So what you can do is I just go to my tab here and I search in Google Abraham Lincoln. Go to images. And here obviously gives you a really great uh, list of images to go through and search. So this is a really good picture of him. So what I'm gonna do is right click it, save image as, okay, Lincoln, save. And it's gonna load down here, but I'm gonna go back over to my board and I wanna upload from my device, add file, open and start upload. Now, if this is going, entirely too fast for you please please feel free to stop and pause and do what you got to do to make sure you, that you understand kind of how to go through this process because there are a lot of little steps but we have key people link in here you can resize okay and then now i want to go through and let's search discovery ed one more time for um ulysses s grant let's see what comes up images Oh, he's got a really great set of images. So we'll do this one. Add selected. I'm going to resize it. Okay, and then from here you might add, you know, pictures of Lee and other people here, uh, Jefferson Davis, whatever the case is. But again, I want them to walk away with just being hooked into the content, being interested, and so I'm going to keep it kind of brief right here and leave it at that. Now, when you're ready to move on to the next thing, okay, you've got this. You're going to add a blank page, and then we are going to, um, we want to include, let's say we want to do a video over Lincoln uh, and his leadership in uh, this time period. So I'm going to go here to YouTube and I'm going to search it's not Vampire Hunter. Always Kids always think that that is the truth behind it, Graham Lincoln. Okay, and you just want to go through and I mean obviously you want to vet which ones you choose. I know the mini bio one is really good from biography.com and so I'm going to use this one. You want to go here and copy the URL, go back to your studio board, and this is what you want to do. Okay, so I know that I want to have this video, they want to watch it, so I'm going to put Abraham Lincoln background info. Okay, make this bigger. And then we'll just make it two different colors. Okay, so now in order to put this video into my studio board here, I'm going to click this as a button. And a button is, again, it's just like clicking a button as if they were going to go and click this and it takes them straight here. It's a link that will do that for them. So I'm going to resize it however you want to do it. And then you go to this edit button, the little puzzle there, or the little pencil. And then you want to delete the destination that's already in there and paste in the destination that your video came from, the link that it came from. Then you want to change the text here. Okay, I'm going to put bio.com link. You can label it however you choose. Change the color to whatever you want to do. Even test the link to make sure it goes back to that video there. Okay, and then there you go, bio.com link. If you want to put some instructions on what to do, 
You can move the link down and just put another text box here. Put, click the blue button to view the Lincoln video. Answer the questions below. Now, here is where we definitely want to make sure. Do we want them to um, be able to make connections here to other information? Like, do we want them to know? Um, okay, you guys definitely need to know about the Gettysburg Address. Well, right now, do we want them to make connections to that? Or do we want them just to be able to watch this video and be able to say, okay, who was his wife? Who was Lincoln uh, best friends with? Who, you know, whatever the case is. Do, what kind of question style do we want based on where we are with this, this board? Now, this board is a hook board. It's not meant to be... Um, a mid unit board. Now, if you want a mid unit board, you could go here, you could do a short answer question and you could look at the questions on, you know, the unit overview or the IFD and make some deeper level uh, questions that you want them to, you know, kind of analyze or compare something. Um, so you could say, um, thinking about past presidents, we have studied what sets Lincoln apart. You know, something, I mean, something that you'd want them to say, okay, well, this is what I know about the past presidents. This is what I know about Lincoln and how he's going to be different, whatever the case is. But these higher level questioning, uh, you can definitely include here to get them digging deeper into this video. And it's not just showing them a video. It's using the video as a basis and then, or a baseline, and then going through and asking these um, higher level questions. Okay, so you can do that as a short answer question or you can do a multiple choice question. Here, it'd be a really great idea to go into, um, you know, our unit tests or to use any sort of testing uh, bank that you might know of. Um, I know there's a bunch on Lead Forward you can use. Um, and so whatever the case is, you can go here and just say, uh, you know, whatever the question is. So question, type it in there and then be able to put, you know, the right answer, click this is the correct one, and then there you go. Now you've got a multiple choice question based on this video and what you'd want them to know uh, about Lincoln. And they can practice those test taking skills here by using the video as a stimulus. So that is how you do a short answer and a multiple choice. At any time, if you'd like to, if you'd like to pause the video to practice these things, go for it. Rewind, rewatch, whatever the case is, whatever will help you uh, get through this. Uh, feel free to do that now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and create a um, another board. Let's see. Um, going through and looking at this studio board, though, I want to show you. I've shown you how to make the multiple choice, how to make the short answer, and how to do a link. And um, we've even looked at how to search Discovery Ed, how to include these pictures. Um, really just going through and, and the best thing you can do is just get creative with it. Just stay creative with it. Um, work as a team. You can go through and work with your other teachers to see if, uh, you know, they have any cool ideas of what to do um, and so on and just make it great for the kids. Now, once this is all done um, and you created whatever studio board you decide to do. So if you want to look at <clears throat> the Civil War studio board from a student's perspective, you can click here and view shared version. So whenever this comes up, you'll see this is what the students are going to see. And they'll be able to go through and click, you know, into these and watch the videos. Okay. And do what they got to do here. This takes them straight to what they're going to watch. This takes them to their poem. They go through and they read this, and once they watch the video and they read the poem, then they answer these questions. This takes them to a video. I'll go ahead and show you the one that I think is the coolest. Okay. 
Here they were able to uh, look at, you know, what is a Civil War soldier's shirt, what was in their cartridge box, you know, their bags, their papers, things they had to carry with them, um, food, uh, things like that. So these sorts of things we've we've learned that it just gets the kids really interested in what they're learning. They're able to invest a bit more interest in it and by allowing them to go through at any pace, whatever order they want to do this, again, they're kind of taking some ownership and getting it done at their own pace and deciding which way they want to go. Okay, this is another really cool link. Um, and we just did a little bit of background searching. They can go through and look at quotes, pictures and sketches, um, personal items. It lists, like we asked a question, why would they, why would they hold, you know, carry um, songbooks? Why would they have... Um, games and things like that uh, just to get them again just interested in the information this was a good hook activity uh, for them to get going so as I said if you ever want to go through and um, uh, if you have any questions you want to go through and, and you know just brainstorm some cool things you are more than welcome to contact me okay this is my contact information here Right. And well, feel free to pause this at any time if you want to write this down or email me. Um, and then, uh, again, I'd be happy to come to PLCs. Just send me an email if you need anything. Or like it says, you just want to brainstorm, buddy, contact me. This is something that I absolutely love to do. If you do want to learn more about um, these discovery boards, uh, the training that we're going to be having at Back to School, uh, PD is going to be amazing. So please, please plan on attending that if um, the studio boards is something that you want to utilize in your classroom. And if you just need some help going through it or uh, deciding on, you know, the approach to take on it, please contact me. I'll be happy to help. We'll come to PLCs. We'll brainstorm. We'll think through some things and come up with some different ideas just to get your kids invested. Because who wouldn't want their kids to have some fun with these these types of learning tools? All right, thank you for your time, and I hope that this helped.